Let's talk about dynamic range, high dynamic range, uh, which in my view is the most important thing about the next generation of video. We already know that the pixel resolution is 3840 by 2160, exactly four times the number of pixels of high definition. Um, but high dynamic range makes so much more of an impact on the picture than increasing the number of pixels, at least at normal distances, right? I mean, this has been well documented by now. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons that uh, the studios looked at the next generation video landscape and decided that high dynamic range was a key uh, feature that, that needed to be in the mix. Uh, if you look at the human visual system, uh, you know, in, in, in everyday existence, especially if we, if we spend a lot of time in a, a dark, st uh, starlit sky, uh, you have like four, 14 orders of magnitude, uh, you know, in the human visual system. And, uh, How, you know, however, am I not, am I not correct that you, that the entire visual system, 14 orders of magnitude, you're not sensitive to that all at the same instant, right? That's right. Yeah. And so there's a certain range that you're adapted to, uh, at any particular time. Uh, but the, which is, which is uh, smaller than that. I, I think I heard read somewhere something like five orders of magnitude. Yeah. I think that's, that, that's in, in the ballpark. And then that shifts up and down depending on the amount of ambient light that's around you. And the, yeah, in so other I words, if you're out at night, then that's one thing. If you're out in the bright day, that's another thing. And I think we have a figure here that shows sort of the Yeah, I think figure one probably stuff. shows that. Let's take a look at that. Number one, there it is. Tell us what yeah. we're looking at here. Well, so if you look all the way on the, the left side, you'll see sort of the range of light that's in our environment, ranging all the way from, uh, you know, starlight all the way up to if you were to stare directly into the sun, which you would- <laughs> Which we don't recommend. For very long. Uh, but even, even just, uh, you know, sunlight itself is, you know, on the, the order of uh, 100 million candelas per meter square. It's a, a, a measure- of, uh, of luminance that, uh, you know, is often called nits. So if you talk about it in terms of display, usually you'll, you'll call these nits. Right. And, you know, so if you look in the, the, the human visual system and the, the range that television has covered, it traditionally, you know, the human visual system has different ranges for, you know, photopic all the way down to scotopic, which is basically black and white vision with just your rods being active. Uh, but if you look here, you know, on the, in the middle there with current TV, you see we cover a very, very small fraction of that. And, and certainly not even the range to which uh, the, the human eye can be adapted to at any one particular time. And even creatively, you could say, well, you know, actually I'd, I creatively as a director, I'd like to be able to uh, take the audience through, through dark and light adaptation. Maybe I'd like to have the real dark room and then slowly their vision comes back and they can actually see things or, or the, you know, being startled a little bit coming into a bright environment. So there's, there, you really, you want to capture at an absolute minimum, the, the, uh, the current adaptation range that's possible, but you really would like to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, as you mentioned, looking at the impact on the consumer, uh, there have been tests that show that you know, high dynamic range is much more impactful in terms of visual quality uh, as perceived by a consumer than, say, the a higher spatial resolution that you get from going from uh, HD resolution to, to ultra HD resolution.